Please subscribe to this channel and also tap the notification bell in order for you not to miss out on any of our videos. The magazine Jeune Afrique delivers once again through a series of articles devoted to the intricacies of the presidency of Cameroon, known as the Palace of Etudi. The Pan-African magazine even compares what is happening there to Game of Thrones. Several revelations were delivered, in particular the daily newspaper of Paul Bia. What does President Paul Bia do daily in Etudi? Jeune Afrique tried to deliver the film of the day of Paul Bia, who despite his age, shows up at the office every day. According to this report, on the third floor of the palace in Yaoundé, an uninformed advisor discreetly crosses the door of the Holy of Holies. Rear Admiral Joseph Fuda is one of the few that the Presidential Security Directorate allows to circulate here without prior search. Carelessly stuck under his arm a file which contains a series of notes intended for Paul Bia. The head of state ordered them the day before. All are short. His collaborators know that the boss does not like to read analysis that are too long. He appreciates one-page documents that are understandable at a glance. Some ministers have also made it their specialty, such as Jean-Claude Ayem Moga, the real minister of business in the economy. Paul Bia's days are not full as such either. According to Jeune Afrique, the Cameroonian president receives a few people. Paul Bia's time is precious especially since he has been spending fewer hours in his office on the third floor for several years than before. At almost 90 years old, which he will be in February 2023, and after four decades in power, the head of state has adapted his schedule. He still goes daily to the palace, where he entertains in the room adjoining his study. The Prime Minister Joseph Diongote is there every Friday afternoon. The most influential ministers come about once a month, but Paul Bia's days are shorter. The file which was submitted by the rear admiral Fuda leaves the office of the head of state back to Fuda's office a few meters away on the same landing. Behind the departing officer, the sound of a news broadcast. Paul Bia kept a radio set which was inherited from his predecessor, Amadou Ahijo. And since he likes to keep himself informed, he has also a television set installed, often connected to a continuous news channel and a large screen which allows him to observe satellite images of the country of which he is fond. In the ivory tower, few are allowed to disturb him. They can be counted on the fingers of one hand, none escaping the sharp gaze of the rear admiral. 